in this uh, session we will uh, show the difference uh, between volume uh, controlled mode of ventilation and pressure controlled mode of ventilation if your patient is paralyzed and placed on uh, the ventilator with a volume control of 500 uh, at a rate of 12 per minute and inspire time of 1.5 seconds and the patient is paralyzed so all the press will be mandatory press every five seconds the machine will be triggered by the time and the machine will deliver 500 ml of air into the lung at a flow rate of 30 liters per minute the flow you can notice here is a square wave and since we are able to deliver that 0.5 liter uh, in one second at a flow rate of 30 liters per minute all what we need for inspiratory flow time is one second and since our cycling mechanism here is the time at 1.5 seconds we will be left out with a 0.5 seconds of uh, inspiratory time where the air is already in the lung and in order to keep that air in the lung we need a plateau pressure but there is no more uh, pressure needed to overcome resistance in most of the ventilators the uh, flow uh, waveform is a square wave in volume control mode of ventilation but in some ventilators you can modify this uh, uh, wave form to decelerating wave however if you change from volume control to pressure control mode of ventilation and I will freeze it here so you can notice the differences but before we go into the differences let me go uh, with the settings on the ventilator here you can see now we can set the inspiratory pressure and it is set at 15 and the PEEP is at 5 you, on, on the regular ventilator you can link the PEEP with the inspiratory pressure so if you go up on the inspiratory pressure the PEEP will go up at the same time so you can see that here so go up on the uh, inspiratory pressure so the beep will go up uh, at the same time so please uh, notice uh, uh, for this uh, important uh, uh, relationship between the beep and inspiratory pressure if you want to increase the inspiratory pressure without <coughs> increasing the beep so you need to unlink this relationship between the two buttons you can see here the rate is set as uh, at 12 similar to the to the uh, cmv mode of ventilation and the beep is at 5 and this is a slope of uh, 0.2 seconds that means the time required to this point to the maximum pressure is 0 0.2 seconds in this mode on this ventilator uh, you can uh, set a pressure support to uh, support the inspiratory efforts that happen in between and this mode will function here similar to SIMV but it's pressure uh, control mode of ventilation now remember that we change from uh, volume control to pressure control here and you can see the difference between this is a volume controlled press and this is a pressure controlled press and you can notice the change in the flow waveform from a square wave to a decelerating wave and uh, decelerating wave means that the uh, breath is pressure uh, controlled it could be also pressure regulated or pressure supported breath uh, the pressure is a square wave uh, compared to the uh, gradual increase in the pressure and the pressure here is constant now dependent on the uh, resistant and compliance if the resistant and compliance change uh, if the resistant or the compliance uh, changes in volume control mode of ventilation the pressure will go up to uh, maintain that target to the volume of 500 in pressure control ventilation the pressure is uh, fixed it does not increase if there is an increase in the resistance or decrease in the compliance the volume will be less the delivered volume will be less if the resistance is improved 
and the compliance is increased at that time the tidal volume will go higher so if the patient is uh, not uh, breathing this uh, uh, mode uh, pressure control mode of ventilation uh, will be uh, delivering 12 breaths per minute and this is a backup rate if the patient started to breathe he can breathe in between and th in this mode of ventilation he can support his spontaneous breath by pressure support uh, and you can determine how much pressure support you want to deliver for each breath so if the patient started to breathe here in between you will see that the patient will have uh, this is mandatory now and this is supported between this breath here and this breath this is a mandatory breath this is a mandatory breath and this is a supported breath at six uh, centimeter of water on Gragger uh, everything supported is in a gray color when this concludes the uh, session for the differences between volume control and pressure control mode of ventilation. Thank you.